patient continuance in well doing. The Bible says that to them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for, meaning that they are seeking for, you see, so these people are seeking for glory, honor, immortality, and eternal life. And they are doing something to get it. What are they doing? They are patiently continuing in well doing. So it means that anyone who is patiently continuing in well doing will automatically receive glory, honor, immortality, and eternal life. And we know that the eternal life is sure. Immortality is sure. But glory and honor is not guaranteed. But when you are doing well, it will be guaranteed. From now on, do well. Yeah. Yesterday, we heard about Christie's mother. I mean, that was a blessing. Who was always looking for opportunities to... I have to put this down to say. Anytime there was a project in the church, Pastor Makandu says, okay, there's a project... We need some people to help. Yeah, before she, he finishes saying it, Chris's mother comes and says, yes, I'm the person. I got it. She doesn't say again. Rather, she's looking for opportunities. Number two, when she has done something for someone, or she has helped someone, or she has given to someone, or she has met someone's need, she rejoices. Many of us, it's true, we need to. We rejoice when God has given us a car. Oh, I'm very excited. I just prayed for someone's car yes, uh, was it yesterday, and we're very excited about it. Yes. Or God has opened a door and has given you what, a, a new job. It's good. But it's even better when you are rejoicing because you have been counted worthy to do something good for somebody. That's also nice. So whilst you and I are celebrating, you bet I'll celebrate. Oh, um, you bet. Don't you know? You know me already. I'll mention it. I'll talk about the good things God has done. But also, let's also rejoice and be glad when God has given us the ability to help someone. No one knows, but there was a poor person somewhere, and you gave them $100. Be excited and rejoice about that also. Yes. Be excited about it. Be excited about it. That is patient continuance in well-doing. Now, why do you need patience for that? You need patience because most people are looking for the results immediately. I've done well for someone. I've paid my tithe. I'm going to church. I'm serving God. I'm doing all that I'm doing, but I'm not seeing the results. Things rather look like they are getting worse. Oh God, where are the results? But you are still patiently continuing to do well in spite of the fact that you have not received what you are looking for yet. How are you? Yeah. That is also good. Amen. How many have felt exhausted in well-doing? It's easy to be exhausted in doing well. If you are doing well and the results were coming fast, no one will be exhausted at all. But anytime you are doing well, you would be exhausted. That's why the Bible is actually explaining something here. That for in due season, in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. What does this mean? It means that you have been doing well and you have not really seen the fruit yet. That's the only reason why in due season you are going to reap. I see you reaping in due season. I said, I see you reaping in due season. I see you reaping in due season. Amen. I see you reaping in due season. Yeah. We'll reap. Oh, we'll reap. Ah. God is good. He is not unrighteous to forget what we do. In due season, I see you reaping in due season. God will honor you as you do good in due season. Sometimes you look like a fool. Sometimes you feel you look like you are wasting your time. Sometimes you wonder, am I wasting my time? What am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I don't see the results. Other people are not doing good, but it looks like the things are working for them. No. How, can, Pastor McAndrew, never mind. Maybe, come. Let me, let, let's, let's see what you want. Now you are moving. Take one step slow, slow, 
yeah, be taking steps. We are going over here. And then you also be taking steps a bit faster than him. And I'm, it looks like I'm moving back. And then God moves me faster. And I'm here. And then you stop here. This is the limit. And I'm here. I've overtaken from here. Which one is better? Which one do you want? Yes. So many people who look like they are not, uh, uh, they, they are not doing much for God. It's like they are not doing good. But it looks like things are working for them. That is not always the case. The end result is what matters. But you will reap in due season. I see you reaping in due season. In Jesus' name. Oh, overtaking anointing. David said, I've been young and I've been old. And I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Not even once. Nor his seed begging for bread. Never. The God of the universe. The God of the Bible. The God of Moses. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. That God is the God who rewards in due season. due season. God said, Abraham, I want to honor you, but I want you to believe me, so I'm going to swear. But there's no one greater than me, so I'll swear by myself. I'll swear by myself, because there's no bigger. You only swear by someone greater than you, but there's no one greater than God, so he had to swear by himself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God has promised. Jehovah, anytime you say the word Jehovah, realize that Jehovah means promise keeper. The God who keeps promises. So anytime you say Jehovah God, not you are saying that Jehovah God who has kept his promise in my life. Oh yes. I thought you were putting your hands together for Jesus. The promise keeper. I said the promise keeper. He has promised he will never fail. It's not just a song. I said, it's not such a song. It is true. I said, it is true. Oh, yes. Let God be true. Who glory? And every man a liar. I said, let God be true. I said, let God be true. I said, let God be true. true. And every man a liar. Whose report do you believe? We We believe the report of the Lord. Oh, yes. We believe it. So, do, do good. Help those in need. Help. Help, help, help. Do good. Do good to people. Do works of righteousness. What are works of righteousness? Giving, helping people are works of righteousness. Did you know that? Doing good to people. Those are works of righteousness. 